how an NPV is affected by inflation. An NPV is affected by inflation in two different ways. One, the cash flows themselves, and two, the discount factor used. The discount factor reflects the return required by investors and clearly the return will be different depending on whether or not inflation is included. For example, if an investor is looking for a real return of 5%, this effectively means a return that is 5% over and above the rate of inflation. There is little point making a final return of 5% if inflation is 6%, as effectively you would be worse off. The golden rule here is consistency. In other words, if cash flows are inflated, then so must the discount factor be, and if the cash flows exclude inflation, then so should the discount factor. What you cannot do is mix the two. The Fisher formula. As stated above, the discount factor must be consistent with the cash flows from an inflationary perspective. If you need to convert the discount from uninflated to inflated or vice versa, you can do so using the Fisher formula. 1 plus i equals 1 plus r multiplied by 1 plus h. i is the inflated return or discount factor. r is the real or uninflated return or discount factor and H is the home inflation. For example, if investors are looking for a real return of 5% and inflation is currently running at 1.6%, what is the nominal return required? Well, 1 plus I equals 1.05 multiplied by 1.016, which equals 1.0668. So the inflated required return is 0 0.0668 or 6.68%. Conversely, by rearranging the formula, 1 plus R equals 1 plus I divided by 1 plus h. So if the nominal rate of return is 10% and inflation is 4%, the real rate of return can be calculated as 1 plus r equals 1.1 divided by 1.04, which equals 1.058 approximately. So r equals 0 0.058 or 5.8%.